Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the Four Hemispheres. The world is a very large place. In order to find certain places, say on a map or globe, the world is divided into smaller sections to help locate these places. Let's first take a look at the four hemispheres. The world can be divided in half two different ways. First, you can divide the world into northern and southern halves. The imaginary line that runs all the way around the world and divides it into two equals halves is called the equator. The equator is found at zero degrees latitude, and any place above the equator is in the northern hemisphere, and any place below the equator is in the southern hemisphere. The world can also be divided in half another way, separating east from west. The imaginary line that divides the world into equal east and west halves is called the prime meridian and passes north to south through Greenwich Observatory in London, England. The prime meridian is at zero degrees longitude. Any place to the left of the prime meridian is in the western hemisphere, while any place to the right of the prime meridian is in the eastern hemisphere. Each of the seven continents are located in at least two hemispheres. The seven continents are Europe, Antarctica, Asia, Africa, Australia, North America, South America. An easy way to remember the seven continents is to use eat an aspirin after a nighttime snack. North America lies in the Western Hemisphere and the Northern Hemisphere. However, there is one continent in the world that lies in all four hemispheres, Africa. As a result, Africa is the only continent to have land both at the equator and at the prime meridian. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.